Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a Friday. It's the start of a three-day weekend down here in Pensacola. It's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. I'm sitting there eating breakfast this morning with my uh, with my son Dylan, and I get a text from one of my business partners, and he's like, "Hey, want to come out on the boat around nine? We're going to go film. I'm going to go catch something with spade fish. So we're probably going to do another catch and cook video with spade fish later on. So he'll probably pan fry it. What I'm going to do is if I catch a couple, so I'm going to take them home." throw them on the big green egg and smoke them so keep an eye out for his catch and cook video and i'm probably going to go ahead and do the first one that i'm ever going to do and uh, i'm going to come up with some kind of recipe smoked fish maybe turn it into a dip something crazy i don't know but i know i'm going to cook it and i'm going to smoke it and we're going to see how delicious it actually is so stay tuned cue the intro I just got down here to Marine Max to the marina. Uh, Brant had to run up to the store real quick, probably grab some ice or something. So there's the ride back there behind us. We're gonna go up and catch some spade fish and uh, see what else we can kind of do today, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. Just missed one. That, that's no kid, man. That is a light bite, isn't it? Oh, there we go, right there. Look at him. There we go. We're on, right there, like three feet underwater. First fish on of the day right here. Greg's got him. Got some color. That's a decent fit, little fish. That is a really cool looking fish, man. Look at that. Now, the cool thing about these guys is, man, they're really hard fighters and they're good to eat. So, Greg, we're going to put him in the All right. ice chest right there. Going in the cooler. Believe it or not, a, a fish that size, all of this is meat. And it's gonna be delicious. Oh, oh Greg's on. Oh, got you. <laughs> that's not a spec fish. That's a, uh, that's a crazy fish. That's a butter for a uh, moon fish. Oh, man. I think, yeah. This little sucker. Oh, those things got them spikes on top. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a crazy fish, aka Zulu, and those are uh, those actually have a pretty nasty spike. Yeah. Oh, got him! Got him! There you got go. him! Fish on! Came up right, right both sides and ate it. Not a big one, but he's, he's decent. <laughs> Not a big one, but he's decent. He he came up both sides and hammered me. But the fact that the sun is right here going to be a big deal. Oh, here oh, we go. Greg's double, on. Greg's double. on. Technically, Doubled up. Doubled up on the spade fish. Woohoo! I went to that smaller, that thinner uh, spinner leader. Yep. Yeah, this one here is a little bit of a little guy, but we'll go ahead and throw him back. Yeah. This is what Brant's talking about with their little mouths. Look how little those are. So you got to use these little hooks. It's not like everything else around here, like a red drum or a snapper 
or a speckled trout or anything that has these big attacking mouths that just inhale bait these just come up and kind of nibble so I don't know you can see he's got very little teeth baby kind of a cool fish though guys really cool fish those little mouths were literally using a little ball of shrimp like that big one small split shot we're just kind of throwing it in and letting it drift and uh, kind of pull it up and let it have some slack and the fish are usually taking it on the downfall or when the, when the slack is in the line so Target fish of the day, spades. We're gonna go home. Oh, look at this. This guy's got a whole mouthful of shrimp. You fat bastard. So this probably the guy's been stealing all of our bait. Um, or one of them. So, I mean, they're decent sized little fish. They're real pretty. Got the, ver the vertical stripes and everything. Big old eyes. Little mouths. All right. Okay, this is not bad. This is about 25 minutes. Maybe a half an hour of work. We released a few. Lost a bunch, but that's what we're gonna take home and kind of eat and uh, grill them up, put some in the freezer, we'll see how it goes. All right. Captain Brandt taking us home. I don't know how well this sound is gonna come out, but we had a really good morning fishing this morning. So, uh, hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, do all that stuff. Brant and I are heading back in. We're back in the bayou now. Uh, we fished for about a half an hour, released a few spade fish, kept a bunch. We're gonna go cook them up, have some dinner, taste them out, whatever. But uh, if you guys like this video, keep watching. Um, and if you get in town and you want a good fishing experience, call Brant Peacher here. Look him up at uh, Angler Up Charters with uh, Captain Brant up on the on the old the, uh, the old uh, interweb, and he'll come out and put you on some good fish. I'll try to. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Nah, he's solid. He's a good dude. We're pulling back into the bayou right now. Man, that was a cool little 30-minute uh, trip. I mean, it, that wasn't bad at all. we are uh, got Greg over here. We're going to take these fish uh, right back up here. We're going to clean them up real quick. Greg's going to take some home, throw them on the green egg. And I'm going to take some home, cook them up. We may do a little taste <laughs> test. Alright, 
right, so you just saw us on the boat, me and Brant catching these spade fish, right? Well, now I've got them, in, I'm in my kit. Well, now I'm in my kitchen and I've got a special guest with me, my little guy Dylan, my sidekick. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna prep these fillets and get them ready to throw on the big green egg. So as you can see right now, we have the fish all prepped. We have the fish all prepped. We're gonna flip them over. And I think Dylan's gonna do the seasoning. Nope, remember higher from up here. There you go. Get all the fish. Yep, get it nice and even. Okay, there's some more there and some more there at the bottom. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, put that down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna rub it all in. I don't want to rub it. You don't want, I know, you don't want to do that. It's kind of yucky, huh? Daddy will do that. It's cool. Yeah, to you it's not. Because I don't want to get my hands all slimy. No, oh, I know. But that, you know what? That's what they made water for. I'm going to use apple wood chips for my smoke. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Tupperware bucket. You want to pour the chips in there? Get the fish out of the way. Pour the chips in the bucket. The whole bucket? I mean, the whole bucket. Uh, oh, you just... That's probably good right there. Okay. All right. Some of it All right. In there. Yep, that's cool. Here, Scoop them up, put them in. Okay, now the trick with the chips is we're going to throw these in by the handful probably every 10 or 15 minutes while we're doing our smoke. Because we're only going to smoke the fish for about an hour. And at the low temperature, I'm probably going to cook it around 200, 220 degrees. It might take, um, you know, almost two hours to cook all the way, maybe less time than that. But we're going to turn the water on. We're going to cover the chips in water, awesome. and we're going to smash them down in there. I don't want to really get my hands wet. You don't want to get your hands wet? Mm -hmm. Why not? I don't want to get my hands wet because when I play with my toys, they're going to get wet. Oh, you don't want your toys to get wet when we're done? Okay, I understand. Yeah, because when we're done, I'm going to play with my toys. I get it. Um, wet. We're gonna wet the chips there for a half an hour and then um wet the um the um fish cook I mean smoke on the green egg. Yep. And then what are we gonna go do right now? Go do it. Go do are we gonna we gotta go get the coals and everything started, right? Yeah. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some of this uh, lump charcoal. I've got some still in here, but I'm gonna top off with just a little bit of fresh. Okay. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and Get this thing fired up. Ow! This came off! That's fine. So what I'm going to do is I got some good coals going down there now. I got my fish set up on some foil so I can set it off to the side. Try to keep it out of uh, as much direct heat as possible. Then I've got my soaking wood chips. A nice little handful of soaked chips. And then I just kind of stick it down in between there under the coals. You can kind of see it starting to smoke a little bit. I'm going to cover that back up. Kind of set my gauge. Now what we do here, how the egg works is you have your slot up here. You control air coming from the bottom to the top. That's the top port. And then down here is the bottom one. You can adjust this for letting in air flow. So you want the air to flow in from the bottom up through the top. As you can see, I'm already starting to get smoke coming out through there. So let me close. It's nice and closed up good. I still want the smoke to come out. I don't want the, really the smoke to come out, but I need the air flow. So that's, that's how you set your, uh, your temp. So I'm going to come back in about 20 minutes. I'll throw another handful of chips on and uh, we'll see from there oh yeah <laughs> that's gonna be good I've got my celery here I got it clean got it prepped I'm gonna chop it up and then it'll be uh, ready to start making the dip once the fish is done but I don't think you guys really want to watch me actually chop it so how about we try this um, boom 
All right, celery's chopped. I've got that prepped. It's gonna go in the bucket, or in the bowl, I should say. And then uh, when the fish comes off and it gets warm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some uh, cream cheese, uh, some sour cream, some more sour sauce, and probably some red pepper. And I just kind of give it a little bit of a, like some other kind of flavor. And I'm gonna mix that all together with the smoked fish, and it's gonna come out like a dip. I had five pieces of thick cut bacon left in the fridge. So uh, that I bought the other day. So I threw that on the grill too and kind of smoking it a little bit. So right now I'm going to check on the fish and maybe throw another handful of chips on. We'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Bacon's cooking up good. Man, fish is looking pretty good. Alright, I'm going to grab some more chips here. And I know that we should be throwing like wood chunks in there and stuff, but I don't want it to get too smoky. So this is how I kind of do it. I just kind of wedge it in there, dump the wet chips down on the coals. I know people are going to be like, that's not how you do the thing, baby, baby, did. But you know what? That's how I'm doing it. I'm cooking. And nobody has ever complained about anything I've cooked on the egg. Okay, now you know the fish is going to be good when it just peels right up off the skin. Look at that. Oh, except for that one part. Wow, look at that. That meat looks so good. All right, as of right now, smoked spade fish is getting a thumbs up. All right, I've got my fish cut up and I've got my bacon cut up. I'm gonna get all the ingredients out now and mix it all up in a big bowl, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. So next time you should see it, you should have a finish. What do you think? Look at all that fish back there. All right, take a piece of bacon and try it. Tell me what you think. No. Just a little piece. No. <laughs> I got more bacon. <laughs> okay, I'm out. There we go. Got some good fish on there. A little bit of bacon, some celery. Mm. Mm. I think that tastes better than mackerel dip. Um, I really get the smoky flavor. I get a good bite of the bacon. And the celery adds a good crunch to it. Um, this is really good. I got Jack over here and Brant over here. They're gonna go ahead and grab a cracker, put some smoke dip on it, and uh, let me know what they think. All right, so I okay. just came from eating sushi, so we're gonna be able to tell a difference real quick here. This is smoked spade fish, done on a big green egg with some applewood chips and some uh, okay. sweet rub of mine rub saltine. Are these what kind of saltines are these? Uh, are these saltines. These, are, yeah, they're saltines, but they're organic saltines. I was that just came gonna from say, got a foo -foo -y across the street at the uh, the hippie, hippie grocery store. But made it with spade fish, it's celery, uh, Worcestershire sauce, some red pepper, and uh, uh, added a special ingredient, a little smoked bacon. Smoke some bacon and cut it up, put it in there, and then um, what Worcestershire sauce, cream cheese, sour cream. That was good. I mix it all I'm up. A, I'm starting to become a spade fish fan. This is my third dish this that is I've my, this eaten is my first. with spade fish over the last two days because I did a spade fish catch and cook on my channel. Mm -hmm. And we also made a fish head soup last night out of spade fish that'll be up in the next couple days, oh, that which was, good. was really good. So this is my third time tasting spade fish in three days. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I've never tried a spade fish before, but it's it's cool. It's good. I mean... I, I'd never even really seen one until he brought one up for his channel the other day. I don't really think you can go wrong with smoking yeah. anything and then mixing it with cream cheese. You can eat just about any <laughs> fish out there, except for a ladyfish. Yep. No, you cannot eat ladyfish. You, you can, cannot eat a ladyfish. You cannot eat a ladyfish. Actually, fish. you can scrape them with a spoon and <sighs> scrape their meat off and make ladyfish cakes. That's what I hear. We may have to try I keep it saying, if you've got to have a chemistry contest <laughs> to make a fish edible, he ain't edible. <laughs> yeah, anyway, lady fish, I didn't even like the flavor. Mm -hmm. it was the smell! Oh, no, it was... This stunk up the house. Horrible. Anyways, spade fish right here is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right. We'll come to you live next time with, uh, what are we going to do next? What should we do next?
I'm gonna do a crab. You know, maybe here's a novel idea. Maybe the um, game fisheries around here can open up some seasons, and we can bring you triggerfish, <laughs> snapper, <laughs> maybe an amberjack dip. Uh, what else? Uh, groupers. Yeah, yeah. I don't great. know. And then we don't have to come to you with this kind of stuff where we're just kind of making it up as we go. I know that uh, me and Jack are going crabbing sometime yeah. soon. Yeah, I got my crab pods ready. <laughs> I'm gonna look like deadliest catch in my kayak, throwing them off the back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, spade fish is a winner. We'll Good see you guys. stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Yep.